Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another FNAF news video, and a very, very exciting FNAF news video at that. Because, as I'm sure you've all seen by now, Security Breach is finally coming to Xbox after so many months of waiting it's finally coming out on Xbox so we got that and a whole bunch of other topics to talk about in today's video so if you're excited don't forget to hit the like button if you're new subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the FNAF news going on and let's not waste any more time let's kick it off by talking about surprisingly the One Night at Flumpty's Egg Collection. So One Night at Flumpty's is one of the many games in the Fazbear Fanverse initiative, and it was planned to release on consoles through a collective app known as the Egg Collection, containing all three Flumpty's games. However, it's been quite a long time since we last had any updates on the console port, but it seems like we did get one about 20 or so days ago that I completely missed, because someone left a comment on a Reddit post that Clickteam made, asking if there were any updates on the Flumpty's egg collection. Click team responded saying, nothing I can share at this time, sorry. So definitely not a very exciting uh, update in regards to the port, but hopefully we can get more info soon. There's obviously not a whole lot to go off of, but I think based on the wording, it seems like they're at least talking about what they're going to do with this port. Honestly, I don't see them scrapping it. I do think they're going to release it at some point because it's basically done, I think last time we heard. It just looks like they're still trying to figure out what they're going to do with the Flumpty ports. Speaking of the fact Fazbear Fanverse Initiative and Click Team. Click Team made a tweet the other day saying, Join us this Friday, which if you don't know is today, as we discuss with FNAF Fanverse authors Kane Carter and Emil Mako about game development of hashtag made with fusion game Pop Goes Arcade. Use the form in the link and we will ask them your questions on the live stream. So Click Team is holding a interview with Kane and Emil, who are making the Pop Goes Arcade game in the Fazbear Fanverse Initiative that is releasing uh, some time in July, so pretty soon. That's happening today. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but either it's about to happen or it is happening when this video goes up. Speaking of Pop Goes Arcade, we've gotten a lot of various clips and gifts of the game so far, and I still need to make a video going over all of those and also the Steam page. But Kane made a tweet the other day saying, with achievements now being added to the game, I think it's fine to share that there are 37 of them in total. 20 for the Dead Forest and 17 for the Machinist. Lots of extra challenges and Easter eggs. And in the photo, we can see five achievements from each uh, campaign. Moving on now to the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Delivery Service. Because we've gotten a small update in regards to the real-life pizza delivery service that FNAF is making, the website has been updated to include a newsletter sign-up for restaurants, meaning that restaurant owners can now officially sign up for info and news regarding uh, the delivery service and get it linked with their restaurant. And also a official Twitter account has been made for the service. Hello everyone, this is the official Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Delivery Twitter account. We are excited to get going and we'll be releasing updates as they happen with the brand, coming soon to a city near you. So that is very exciting, seems like we're making steady progress with, you know, FNAF finally becoming real with the pizza delivery service. There's more news coming soon. It's gonna be interesting to see when they actually do finally open up and you can find order a real life Freddy Fazbear's pizza. Moving on to some merchandise news, we have a brand new Dreadbear plushie releasing. I say that with a bit of hesitation because it's the same Dreadbear plushie we all know and love, but it's slightly smaller by about like two inches. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like Funko has released a 5.5 inch Walmart exclusive Dreadbear plushie. Absolutely no clue why, but there you go, there's another plushie to add to your collection. Speaking of plushies to add to your collection, as well as action figures, because the Liberty Chica plushie and figure have now officially released. They're up on the Funko website if you want to go pick them up. And speaking of Funko, we have some interesting leaks. So the other day, it was leaked that a Balloon Freddy action figure, Circus Freddy, Circus Bonnie, Circus Chica, Circus Foxy, uh, figures and plushies were going to be released. Now, right off the bat, you may think they're just more reskins, which, honestly, I personally think they're just more reskins. But allegedly, these leaks have been tied to Security Breach somehow. Whoever got these leaks uh, apparently found out that these specific products were linked with, you know, Security Breach uh, branding and labels. I think that's simply just a mistake because it's the newest FNAF game. It's led some people to theorize that, you know, the circus and balloon characters are gonna show up in the, the Ruin DLC for the game. I don't think that's the case, especially because Bonnie and Foxy are not even in Security Breach at all. Some people are also theorizing that 
out this could be the toy animatronics, Balloon Freddy could be Balloon Boy, and then the Circus Freddy Bonnie Chica Foxy could be Toy Freddy Bonnie Chica Foxy. I don't think that's the case either. Again, I think they're just reskins. I don't see why they would call them Balloon and Circus when that's not what they're called, but I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see uh, more info as time goes on, because this is certainly a very interesting and confusing leak. Moving on now to some YouTube's news, we have a brand new FNAF YouTuber getting a figure. I'm talking about it in the FNAF news video because Little Music Man, or Wind Up Music Man, whatever you want to call him, is in the figure. There's a lot of theories for who this could be, some people think it's MatPat, I personally think it's the second 8-bit Ryan figure. If you look, the hair and the beard kind to match up with Ryan's first figure, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's getting a second one. Moving on to some more FNAF U2's news, they actually held a Q&A, an AMA on their Reddit, where they answered a whole bunch of questions, uh, a whole bunch of questions regarding FNAF as well. Someone said, is there any more FNAF stuff planned? U2's replying, saying, yes, we have some very fun and unique U2's coming. Someone else said, any hints on FNAF stuff? U2's replying, saying, hint for new FNAF purple guy. Last FNAF news video, we talked about a potential purple guy YouTube's figure. It seems like they're finally going through with that. Anything new for FNAF? You got the FNAF slippers, which we did uh, hear about quite a while ago, so these are still happening. Any new chrome figures in the works excluding chases? YouTube's replying saying perhaps a gold FNAF figure. Most likely Golden Freddy. So you got a possible Golden Freddy, figure coming out. We got a purple guy figure coming out. The FNAF slippers are still coming out. U2's also confirmed that the fanverse figures, Candy the Cat, Paco's the Weasel, and Ignited Freddy, will be releasing in the next two to three months. Brand new plushies based off of the FNAF 1 gang and also Security Breach are releasing uh, fairly soon as well. And also it looks like they're brainstorming some ideas for a circus baby U2's figure. So that is very exciting. A whole bunch of U2's news to look forward to. Possibly baby figure, a purple guy figure, the slippers, more plushies, security breach, and FNAF 1. And thankfully, we have our first look at the FNAF U2's plushies. And this is the Bonnie U2's plushie. A very different take on the plushies than I think what people were kind of expecting, especially when compared to the Vanny plushie. Personally, I like it. I think he looks very cute and adorable. I'll definitely be picking them up. Uh, I can't wait to see what Chica, Foxy, Freddy, and the Security Breach plushies look like. It'd be interesting to see if they all have the same kind of style to them, or if Security Breach kind of switches up the style because of Vanny. I don't know. What do you think of the plushies, and what character do you want to see be made into a plushie and or figure? And finally, let's talk about Security Breach coming to Xbox. Steerwell released a quick clip over on their social media page. I'll play it right now. Welcome to Mighty's Data Dump, home to Hurricane Hole in War. Get your very own copy of Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach coming soon to Xbox. <laughs> It's in the same style as the VHS tape that they released uh, to promote the physical copies of the game coming out. Looks like this time it's only for Xbox, though. But yeah, it features Monty. He's promoting the Gator Golf. You can see him rummaging around a ball pit trying to look for the physical copy of the Xbox port. They only say it's coming soon, so we don't have an actual, you know, release date for the ports, but I imagine it's not going to be too, too far away. Definitely, definitely, I'd say within the next couple of weeks, we can expect to see the port officially release. So finally, all the Xbox fans... You got it. You're good. Congratulations on waiting so long. I know you've all been super patient. Well, that's going to do it for all the FNAF news today. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.